And now to new video. Stockton police just released body camera video and 911 calls in connection to a police shooting on the busy Hammer Lane last month. You may remember it happened on June 5th near Hammer Lane and Mariners Drive around 8 p.m. ABC 10 was first on scene that night and we spoke to neighbors just coming back from vacation who were blocked from entering their property. And uh, wanted to get home, of course, just a short distance from home and uh, everything's blocked off because there was a uh, an incident here. Stockton police say it all happened after a man armed with a handgun tried to stop a vehicle near Sturgeon Road and Mariners Drive. Another person also reported seeing the man running out of vehicle in the roadway. It's a person jogging down the street like he's going in the same direction as me, but there's oncoming traffic and he started running to the oncoming traffic. And the closer I got, I seen that he has a gun. Police released video showing the suspect pulling out what appears to be a handgun and pointing it toward a passing car. City camera video reveals officers found the man armed with a gun when they responded. Police say the suspect removed what appeared to be a gun from his waistband and dropped it on the ground before putting his hands over his head. However, after commands were given, police say the suspect reached down, grabbed the gun and started running and even pointing the gun at officers. A 30 second pre roll setting on the body cameras captures the shooting, but no sound because officers didn't actually activate the body cameras until after they opened fire. Got your camera on? You got him? You good? Don't move! 72, we're facing northbound. CHP's with us. Go move! Move! 72, we're facing northbound. Don't move! Don't move! Once police approached the suspect, he was put in handcuffs, and officers say they recovered this gun, a Glock 9mm. The 20-year-old black male was pronounced dead at the scene. Stockton police say none of their officers were hurt, and CHP is now involved in the shooting investigation. You can read more about the case on our website, abc10.com.